Well, would you believe me if I told you that this was a 28 liter, 18 ounce day pack? Well, hey folks, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another episode here at Gideon's Tactical. Today, I wanna show you the Matador Beast 28 liter pack. Now, I stumbled across this company, Matador, uh, on Instagram, actually. It was just an Instagram ad. I clicked on it. I said, whoa, that's an interesting pack. Began to look into the product and uh, saw that it had a lot of aspects and a lot of features that a lot of my other ultralight day packs don't offer me. Because for me, one of the things that we love to do here at the channel and that my family and I love to do is to go and do multi-day backpacking trips or do summit alpine hiking. And for either of those scenarios, you want to have the smallest, most compact pack you can, but still give you all the capability of like a fully supported, uh, you know, framed out Back backpack. And uh, when we did our recent multi-day backpacking trip, you know, you're counting all your ounces. You want to have the smallest footprint possible because we hiked up to about 10,000 feet, camped, and then went and summited a 12,000 foot peak. And I needed a really solid day pack that was going to fit inside my 80 liter backpacking pack. So a lot of pack, 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 packs, packy packs going on right now. But to lay that out for you, I've had lots of other really compact, stuffable, you know, 18 to 20 liter packs over the years, and they're all great. They do a lot of good stuff. They do exactly what they say they can do. The two downfalls for me has always been size and durability. Uh, most of those compact, stuffable, I'm thinking like the REI Flash series, I'm thinking of like the um, Marmot compressor packs, all again, have their place and are all good, uh, but um, they are usually made out of very lightweight material because they're trying to cut down on ounces and they're all usually between 18 and 20 liters. And for me being a videographer, I'm always carrying gear with me, possibly drones now, um, lots of other equipment that I might be testing and I needed a larger pack. And this is built with 500 denier PU coated rip stop nylon. So this thing is heavy duty and the 28 liter size. Those two things stood out from the crowd for me and that it comes in at 18 ounces in its stuffable pack, which is, or uh, bag which is awesome so that it's coming in just over a pound it's giving me 28 liters and it's out of a more tough durable material we're using ykk zippers um, heavy duty plastic clips and it, it's not this ultra light thing that has the potential to snap break or tear on me at a moment's notice so let's just take a few moments here break down really simply what this pack has to offer and see whether or not it's what you might be looking for when you're looking for that ultra light but larger and heavy duty stuffable day pack. So did just have an absolute blast trekking with this thing and it was noticeable the amount of gear that I could carry and how it carried that weight well. It wasn't sagging. If you're used to these type of bags, you know that they don't have a lot of structure so they don't tend to carry weight very well. It can tend to dig into your back if you have certain items in the bag. It wasn't digging into my back and just really was a really enjoyable experience on our day hike up to that 12,300 foot peak. So this is their standard color. It's kind of a dark gray blue um, I did see recently that they are selling some limited editions. They're like black and one I think that was tan. Um, so they're doing some limited run stuff, which is kind of cool that they do that as well. So just to run this down for you, you know, pretty basic setup. We have a nice back tail pouch in here that you can shove jackets, extra water bottles, other gear that you're not super concerned about like falling out and losing. This is generous and you could absolutely get, you know, like a raincoat or something like that. You do have daisy chains that are sewn in really well. And that's what you're going to notice is good seaming, good stitching, good materials that usually is the place that is sacrificed with most other lightweight day packs like this. So you could run some shock cord through here or carabiners for different types of gear points out here. They do have some secondary attachments so you could hook like a carabiner onto a water bottle and have the water bottle hanging down in here if you wanted to do that. Now since that uh, stuff pouch, which is a really nice stuff pouch, is a secondary piece. It's not like integrated into the bag. They have a secondary storage pocket. Again, YKK zippers down here that you can stuff that bag into and get a couple other gear items as well. If you needed maybe wet clothing, you could absolutely get a wet t-shirt, maybe wet socks, something like that in here that you wanna keep separated from the rest of your gear. So I really like this compartment. Most other bags that I've seen in this design and the kind of layout don't have this type of storage back pocket. Now up top, we got two zippers as well, instead of just one into our little lid pouch right here that you carry all kinds of different quick access gears, your granola bar. Um, you know, food for the day, whatever you would want to get quick access to. And really nice little 
gear poles and gear tabs there as well. Then we have two zippers here for the main giant clamshell portion. That's a very standard setup, you know, just a dump pouch. I just have a, um, what's it called, hammock in there, just give us some, you know, rigidness. Um, but uh, huge. I mean, I can get my uh, DJI Spark drone, I can get my camera gear and a couple, you know, my, my medical kit, my survival kit, all in this bag that my other smaller lightweight packs, my Flash 18, my Compressor 20, just can't carry all of that gear. This guy can fit it. It is gonna have a nice se separate sleeve there for your bladder and hydration with two little attachments, as well as a port on either side that you could fit the straw through. It won't, it's not wide enough to fit like the whole head. You have to go in back, you know, back feed it through, but it is ambidextrous on either side and can absolutely handle a 100 ounce bladder in here. And that it, I was using um, a 70 ounce bladder when we were doing our trek. No other pockets in there. The zippers will go all the way down if you remove the compression straps on the side. So you can really get into that main compartment if you wish. Now on the side of the bag, we do have these compression straps on either side to really cinch that down, bring the load, you know, because it doesn't have a lot of structure up against your back which is a big plus and they have a secondary compression strap as well with those really good overbuilt plastics it's not lightweight flimsy plastics even the clips are really well built and durable so i really like that aspect uh, and then this is a little pouch here that i'm disappointed in this is the only hang up that i have with the bag this would have been very easily made into a water bottle pouch that could at least handle like 20 ounce three inch diameter bottles um, it can't. It can basically handle like a 16 ounce, uh, you know, arrowhead uh, type of water bottle or a very, very narrow bottle, like super ultra narrow, like 16 ounce bottle is about all this is going to be able to handle and it's pretty shallow. Going down to right here. So again, really designed just for like those, you know, 24 pack water bottles that you get at the store. Um, and that's about it. And then I don't really know what else you would stash in there. There's no cinching, you know, tight. They call it just like a gear pouch. It does have a double rolled thick elastic band right here, but that's a, that's a downer. I like to carry secondary water bottles on top of my bladders when I'm out trekking, doing day hikes and that type of thing. I like to have the option for both. This really doesn't offer that. You have to run the bladder, which I did and works great and there's no issue with that. And then if you're gonna carry any really sizable other water bottle, you have to carry it in the back stuff pouch, which is what I did. I put a 32 ounce Nalgene in here, hooked it on and kept it in a road great, no problems, but that's kind of a downer and I really hope in the future that they just widen out this mouth ever so slightly maybe put a little cinch cord on there uh you know if it adds another ounce to the weight that's not a big deal then i can fit at least again like three inch diameter even if it can't handle 32 ounce now jeans i get it if it could handle you know um, 24 or you know um, 20 ounce bottles that are more around the three inch diameter would be a really nice touch in the future all right and then finally here we got really good shoulder straps that are breathable, but like double weaved that I seem to, that like you can still see through it and they'll breathe really nicely, but they just seem to hold the weight better than my other ones. My other ones tend to kind of like bunch up and just don't carry the load very well. This can carry those heavier loads because of the 28 out, a uh, 28 liter size better. It's gonna have a really good heavy duty grab handle right here. You do have a sternum strap on a track and then you do have a belly strap as well that even has little wings to help cup, you know, the the um, lower part of your hips better than most other bags on the market like this that I've tested, seen, and reviewed. And then it has breathable patches down here on either side, and then this um, nylon again down the middle. So it it has a level of technical, you know, like a technical day pack from Osprey or Kelty or something like that, that you don't normally find in these stuffable, non-structured bags that this has. And that's why I gravitated to it. This is why I wanted to test it out and see how it performed. And it really performed well and really hugged my body well. I didn't over sweat and it really carried the weight better than I was expecting and better than any of my other bags that I was going to take on this trip. I was either going to take my um, flash or my compressor and this outperformed both. Now the final piece is the price. You are going to pay about $90 on the Matador website for this design. For the 500 denier um, fabric, for everything that I'm seeing in here, it's actually pretty competitive with some other products that are similar, but again, just don't have quite the features that are out there. Um, it is on the higher end of those collapsible, stuffable packs, but I think it offers things for the majority that those will not 
offer. So I will include in the description below links over to the Matador website. I am seeing these starting to pop up in more places. To my knowledge, they're not on Amazon yet. If they ever do become available, I'll try and annotate the links in below. But if you're interested in this pack and it's connecting with you, links below over to the Matador website where you can check this pack out. And they have several other types of gear in this kind of lightweight, travel-ready, compact, idea and concept. Well, there you have it, folks. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helped you out and shown you what the Beast 28 can do. I totally dig it and really my only hang up again are those water bottle sleeves or gear sleeves. Hopefully those are updated and fixed in the near future. For the time being though, when I am looking for this type of bag, you know, that's collapsible, frameless, I don't really have anything else and I haven't seen anything else. That's why I got my hands on it um, that uh, can do what this bag can do giving me the size, the durability, and the comfortable ride and be able to carry the amount of gear that I need as a videographer. For those of you maybe who are in photography, different things like that, I think it might be right up your alley and I hope that this video is showing you what it can do, what it can do. Um, Matador did send this over to me to test out and review so I can give you guys my honest, real feedback showing you what I liked and what I did not so that you guys can make that wise choice. Check out some of their other gear as well. Again, links below. You know, this is a stuffable 30 liter duffel bag, Cordura fabric again, fits in your pocket. They have a lot of other stuff like that. They have smaller day packs as well that are not only more uh, less expensive, but maybe more to the size and liking that you need. So go check them out again over in the links that we offer to you guys below. And thank you for always supporting us through those hyperlinks that are offered uh, to Amazon Blade HQ, to the Matador website and other sites that we offer to you guys. Thank you. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. That's a great way to follow us. See what up is and coming projects that I'm currently working on that are going to be coming down the line soon. If you're not a current subscriber, I invite you to become part of the GT family, throwing up videos like this every single week. And you current subscribers rock. Thank you so much for your awesome support of the channel. Finally, guys, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.